Well, I, I, it wasn't. Yeah, I think we were in terms of we felt the game would open up a little bit, and, and we, were, we were doing a great job defensively. And I just, you know, it was our right at halftime. We really felt that they were going to release numbers to go for the win. I felt that if we were able to defend, you know, and I thought Jermaine did a great job. He came late, and he was able to, to get forward. And, and you want to attack with three or four or five guys, but make sure you're balanced. I thought we were. Well, Lee didn't have a room the whole game until that. You know, they did a great job on you know, on Lee. I thought uh, Dax, McCarty, and, and Alexander were excellent. Um, on Lee, every time he touched the ball, there was someone you know, on him. So, uh, you know, we got to go to the drawing board a little bit to give Lee a little bit more of the ball. Coach, talk to us about the selection of Bunbury over um, you know, the choice of choosing a player like Bunbury today over a guy like uh, like Diego today. Um, how did that? How did the choice factor into like the, the opponents today? How did that? How did that factor? Well, Teal has been excellent all season. He's been our right winger for the entire season, so for the last 20 games. So he's earned it. That's very good. Jay, a lot. Hey, Kyle, how's it going, buddy? Um, yeah, I mean, look, they were, we thought we came out with a great start. 15 minutes was, we knew it was going to be a good game. Been, you know, I thought our goal was excellent. And we never really got our rhythm going. We never really played in the first half. Um, and so I thought our, you know, a little bit of a change at halftime was just to make sure that we defended across the way, put Jermaine a little bit more central to allow him to win some challenges and break from the middle. Um, and then, and then the, you know, when, when we get going and we get opportunities and Lee's getting some open space, uh, that's when we're a little bit better. But, you know, credit New York. I thought they were excellent. Jay, a lot of people are seeing you guys in depth in these playoffs for the first time nationally. How re rewarding is it for you and the guys who've been here for a couple of years now to have what you've built up with these young guys and they're bringing in Jermaine, have that all pay off this way? Oh, I think, I think it's, it's, it just goes back to, you know, how hard it was. A lot of sleepless nights building, um, you know, from day one, trying to build a great core of, of players and young players and, um, you know, try to get to where, you know, you're a strong foundation and then you add the right player. And, and I think Jermaine has really helped us get over the, over the top a little bit in terms of how we want to play and what we want to do. And the walk over at the end of the plot of those traveling fans, what was that like for you, especially having played for this team back in the day? Amazing. The, the crowd was, was simply amazing. I mean, if you if you were on the bench, you could hear them the entire time. Um, and, and so going over there and, and being able to see you know see that crowd you know on the road is just something spectacular. Yeah, how how important was that second that second goal right at the end to have that second away goal and the lead going into the second leg? Well, it's important uh, for us because you know we came in here with a game plan. We wanted to to, to, to try to get as much as we could out of it. Um, and you know I thought. Uh, you know, we they did they did really well. You got to credit New York, but I thought our guys really dug in and defended well, and we had opportunities. Knowing that they're not going to have Bradley and Phillips now in the second leg, does that change anything about your? We're, we're you know we're, we're we're talking about tonight's game, and, and we'll, we'll deal with that as we go on. Talking about the job that Alexander and McCarty did for the goals. What about Scotty Caldwell and kind of the role that he had to play here? Today? I thought Scotty was awesome tonight. I thought Scotty worked really hard. He plugged a lot of holes, won a lot of balls. I want to go back and watch it on film, but I thought Scotty was a was a warrior out there. You know, really just plays his strengths every game. Yeah, in the first half, you know, I thought in the end, um, it just, it, I think everyone was ledgy with the cards because you, you never know if a silly foul happens where, where the, you know, it becomes a red card. So, yeah, I, I wasn't happy that I don't think either team wanted that many yellow cards, but I thought in the end, you know, Alan Chapman did a nice job of, of, of managing it, you know, because he didn't throw anyone out and he handled it really well after the yellow cards. I think the yellow cards, as long as they're used as warnings, are great. But if, they're, if you give it a second one, that's when we get a little nervous. Were you, were you worried somebody was going Yes. Like, like the yes. Very <laughs> 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 much. You knew Roy Miller was suspended for this series. And Teal's coming off his big game. How much were you looking forward to that matchup? Were you on going to Teal? How do you think it is? Goal and assist was pretty good from Teal. And yeah, I think Teal's been great. I, it, you know, it, it didn't matter to us. You know, we, we, we saw the suspension, but we know that anongo has got a lot of pace, and, and, he, and Teal's got a lot of pace. So it's going to be, a, a, you know, it's going to be a, a, a track meet out there. You can see it. But I thought Teal, you know, showed a little bit of, you know, not just his pace, but you saw the move to get open on the goal. I thought that's Teal Bunbury. You know, when you give him a little bit of space, he can create, and I think he's been excellent. Just behind goals in three games, it's not really like a cautious playoff shot, or is it going to be like that? I mean, I don't know if it's wide open, Frank, as much as you know, the score should like talk about. But uh, maybe in the Columbus series it was. I don't know if we were really wide open out there. It was as much as, to be honest with you, as much as I wanted to be to really be going back and forth because I think um, you know we're really good on the break and, and, and opening it up. Um, but I thought we did a nice job. We had a little bit different game plan to to defend a little bit better. In that second half, I thought you know the really the best chances came from set pieces, and, and I thought we really did a nice job shutting it down. Let's talk about the energy level Jermaine brings to the team. 
Yeah, he's Jermaine is um, you know he's he's a competitor first and foremost, and I think that's that's what you sense, and then you add the class on top of that. But he wants it, and, and that that shows. And, and if he wants it, the guy next to him better want it because um, you know Jermaine's like a he's kind of like a. He, he's a leader by just by what he does and how he plays. It's, it's contagious. Frank, talk to you. Yeah, what is he having to do with Jermaine against the team like Rick 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 I was watching that, and I was, look, I, I, I thought Thierry was excellent. I thought Jermaine was excellent. You saw two guys that won it, and um, you're going to see that again next week, two guys that won it. And, uh, and so, uh, yeah, I think I think when you have guys competing like that and the level in which they've competed before that, now they're doing it on fields and MLS, or, you know, it's pretty special. If you're a fan, you got to love watching that.